Welcome back to Everything College. I'm your host, Christina Parker, supporting your college navigation while minimizing debt. I know I keep going in and out of the background, but it's just because of my hat. So um, bear with me. But today we're going to be focusing on the Higher Education Emergency Relief Fund, in particular community colleges. So if you're at a community college, this is probably the video for you. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you all. So you're going to want to go visit the U.S. Department of Education, www.ed.gov. Link will always be in the description. Um, before you do that task or after you do that task, you're going to want to go to your Google and do a nice little Google search. Just put in your school and then put OPEID. So if you go to um, Atlanta Technical College, right? You're going to put in Atlanta Technical College OPEID and it should pop up for you. It should be zero, zero, something, something. And that's how you're going to go find it. You're going to scroll down. There's the student A portion. This is for public and nonprofit institutions that include private universities, historically black universities, every university is on here. That, and if they're not on there, that means that they did not receive money for the most part. To do, oh, I always do that. I always, always click this one, but you have to click the allocation table in order to go to see where all the schools are listed. So boom. So once you take, click your allocation table, it's going to take you to this document right here. They're not, unfortunately, they're not in alphabetical order, unlike HBCUs, which are in alphabetical order, but these schools are not in alphabetical order. They're all by the OPE ID, which is something you have to look up. So um, I did a little bit of research before. So we're going to look up Los Angeles Harbor College, and there's 001. 224. So as you see, like these are all the ones, right? And then the second number is two. So now we're just gonna scroll all the way down to get one, two. All right, so now we got one, two, and then we're gonna look up for one, two, two. So I'm gonna scroll. All right, so now we we seen zero, zero, one, two, two. So now I'm looking for one, two, two, four. All right, so boom. So Los Angeles Harbor College. How much money did they receive? So they received $1.4 million for students to be allocated to students. I did look at their site. They haven't put up any guidance for 2021. Again, universities have one year to spend those funds. So not necessarily do they have to spend those funds this semester, okay? So I would reach out to your university or just watch their page or your email to see when they're going to be sending out any guidance. So the next school we're going to be looking up is West Los Angeles. All right, so we have to go all the way back up because it is the OPE ID is 005. So uh, actually I'm tripping, we gotta go down 005. Nine, six. I don't know why it's in here, but I did find it. They received $1 million, 107. 1.1 million dollars basically. Um, I must have rolled down the wrong OPE ID, but um, y'all basically get the gist of how to do it, how to do the search. Um, so Atlanta Technical College is the next one we're gonna go to. And they're all, all the way in eight. I see no zero, zero, eight, right? Atlanta Technical School. College, and then we're gonna put in O O P E I D. So, so it's zero zero eight five four. Okay, so I just took out the zeros. So it's gonna be before the ones. So eight five four. All right, Atlanta Technical College. They received $1.9 million. So that's what they received for university um, for students. I did look up the university and see if they have anything for 2021. Unfortunately, they do not. But also people asked me to look up Phoenix um, College or the University of Phoenix. 
Um, both universities received zero dollars. They were not eligible to receive money. So those universities did not get anything. Um, be, um, in another video on TikTok, I looked up a lot of, um, I always butcher the name. Somebody told me how it's, how it's pronounced, but C-U-N-Y, which is a community colleges that are in New York. <clears throat> and I looked up a lot of them and a lot of them were on there. And some people were confused because they didn't see all their universities on there. So I'm going to be look up, looking up LaGuardia, LaGuardia Community College and it's 010051. So 01005. Okay. So boom, right here. They received, let me just make sure. Yeah, they received uh, $6.4 million for students. Also, they do not have anything. Why say I did not check this school in particular to see if they have anything on their site? So you know what, let's actually, I'll show you how to do that. Let's see if they got any exact money. I'll just show y'all what I look. I do, I do quick, you know what I'm saying? Google searches. I, I did, I did this, do this one on my TikTok. This one in particular. So I don't see anything so far. Yeah, they, yeah, they don't have anything for 2021, um, any guidance that I could find with uh, that simple search. I do play, I play around with her because every come out college calls it something different, not call it something different, but you know, they might just, you know, call it the act. Um, so I do use like different wording in order to try to find it but I encourage you to just reach out to your university or look on their site or your email to see if and when they will be um, dispensing that money to students or dispersing that money to students. Uh, university of Alabama. I was I looked for this. I searched for this. I was not able to find them in here and um, I don't their OPE like I don't know it's weird like I Either they, they're just not in here at all, <laughs> or like I found the wrong OPE because the OPE that I found was for a whole different university that was on here with that number. So I'm not sure. So I encourage y'all to go look up that OPE or, or get the correct OPE and then do the search that I showed y'all how to do in the beginning of the video. And now we're gonna do Hind Community College. Someone also asked me for this one on TikTok. Um, this one is zero zero two, so zero zero two four. So, like I said before, y'all, this is it's a little bit tedious when you looking up like a lot of them. But for y'all, just to look up your universities, it's not it's not really that hard. But in every video that I do, I'm gonna try to reemphasize like how to go search for them. I have seen y'all questions about like how do you ask your university for the money or like if they have it or anything like that um i'm going to be doing a video on that just to give y'all some advice on what i think is the best way to do that i'm tripping so the ope id for this one is zero zero two and i thought it said zero two four but it didn't so two, four, 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 four. All right, two, four, zero, seven, two, four, zero, seven. So here we are, Hens Community College. They received $5 million for students. Now, again, they, they have a year in order to disperse these funds. They do not have to give these funds to students this year if they don't want to. I have heard also of some universities um, prioritizing those who did not receive it before, right? But I encourage y'all, if your university is doing that and you did receive it the last round, I would um, encourage you all to still apply or to wait until the application closes and to reach out to financial aid or whoever um, holds that funding and ask them if they have any additional money 
that you could um, have access to because, you know, for emergency reasons or, reasons or whatever the case may be. And if they tell you no, I would encourage you to see if you could talk to someone else that might know um, or be able to give you a better answer, right? Because like I said before, I think of college is like, like, um, like, like a telemarketer, you feel me? Like when you're trying to call and you, and you want your phone bill paid down or whatever, right? You're not going to always get the person that's going to be able to do that for you, right? The first time you got to sometimes ask for someone different for them to be like, ah, you know what, actually, or for you to talk to someone be like, ah, oh, you know what, I'm the manager. Actually, I have authority and I have power to do this thing that you want them to do. It's not always the case, but I always say nothing, nothing hurts in asking. Like you'll never know until you ask. So I do encourage any student out there, regardless of how much money you receive, whether you receive 250 and you need more money for emergency reasons or to support you in online learning or remote learning, I encourage you reach out to your university. Um, either one, turn the application still and then send an email or two, wait until that um, application is over and then reach out to ask if there's any other funds because this wasn't enough for X, Y, and Z reasons and see if they could work with you that way. Um, San Jacinto College in Texas, they received $0 or did they receive $0 and $14 million for, for students? Hmm. I need to do better notes, y'all. <laughs> but let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what um let me show y'all. Let me see. Let me go look this one up again. Yeah, I spent all this time on my notes just to be like, uh, what did I mean by this? But I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all this one real quick. And after I show you this one, that's gonna be conclusion of this video. Zero zero three six, right? Zero zero three six zero. Three six zero. What is three three? Three six zero nine. Oh, here we go. Okay, they sent. They received uh four million dollars. I don't know what my writing is talking about. Community college. Yeah. It receives $40 million, $4.4 million for students. So yeah. So also if you just see me scrolling and you see your university here or your um, community college here or your private university here, they receive some form of money from this. On the next, on the next video, I'm gonna be talking about historically black universities and what they received as well and where you can find that document at. So if that applies to you and this doesn't necessarily apply to you, I encourage you to go watch that video and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Everything College. Um, everything that I talked about in this video is gonna be linked in the description. Also, if you're like, what about this university? I encourage you, just go ahead, look up your university, put OPEID, it'll show you this number right here. So it'll show you this number or this number, but you know, this is a different university or college. And then you just go here in the OPE and you just kind of match the numbers up. And then you'll come and you'll find your university and it'll tell you exactly what students received. All right. Let me know if y'all have any additional questions. And as always, stay studious.